First of all, Diddy has all the endeavors, if we just really think about it. He really do. He do everything. He's done everything. We gonna, we gonna toss this to uh, Diddy doing everything. He, to Diddy doing everything. Uh, he is a mark in black history, like for real. Truly. Yeah. Yes. Like. And his sons, all of them. Yeah. He made generational wealth. I like it. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Tapped In Reviews. Today, I got a special guest. Let them know who you is. Jordan. Okay, Jordan. And today, me and Jordan are diving into this Deli uh, Tequila. Now, I've been seeing a lot of promo because I follow the page. So, they've been promoting the hell right. out of this. And, uh, of course, the celebrity endorser is... Diddy. Yeah, Diddy. And P. then Diddy. Drewski did that video for him. Who's Drewski? The funny guy on uh, Atlanta, uh, he from Atlanta. I know, I know him when I hear him, I just... Yeah, so he got like a whole commercial with... This the only commercial that Diddy ever dropped for the, for his special liquor or whatever. And Juice got to go to his house. He was okay. all in the house. It was real funny. Okay, I'm going to I'm have to check it out because uh, I'm lost on that. Yeah, check it out. It's but, funny as hell. So this is Deleon. It's a Blanco. So pretty much uh, Diddy is the celebrity endorser, of course, and... They pretty much source this tequila from Mexico. They use 100% Blue Weber Agave. Mm. So, I don't know what's different between that Agave and the regular Blue Agave that they use. but It's got to be the leaf. Yeah. I think, or whatever it is, like the type of Agave. Yeah. So, while I crack this bottle open, you can tell them what you've been up to or what you do or, you know, drop your a psychologist I received my master's in clinical mental health counseling and I specialize in anxiety management stress management um, pretty much just managing your day and trying to be cognitively healthier that's what I try to teach my patients and that's what I try to live by too if it don't make you happy don't do it and if you can't control it don't worry about it I period so like if they wanna uh if they trying to get a session with you what they what they need to do? Y'all can follow my page, um, Jordan Atia, J O R D Y N A T I Y A. You can search that on Instagram or on Twitter and you'll be able to see me. I also go by Brenda, so <laughs> that might pop up too. If it say Brenda, it's also Jordan. Yeah. So uh I'm gonna go on and pull us up a couple of shots. I'm nervous, y'all. Feel that top. This is it's a nice this is a nice bottle. The presentation is good. Yeah, this is it's now hopefully But did he don't do bullshit, you know? He really don't. He don't. And we finna see if this finna be some BS or not. So we're gonna pull of course we, we pull a neat on tap in reviews and we pull on the rocks. You already know the rock one gonna be better. Hey, I'm I'm I always that to meat the be hot. Ooh we I pulled a lot for you. <laughs> Dry safe. I live here. <laughs> why you ain't pour that much in yours? Golly. So worse. I don't even know your ass. That's why we gonna keep it even. You don't even know me. There we go. That's all right. So you don't tap the reviews. We pick it up. We smell it. I ain't tell these folks. Like, oh, it smells like tequila. Lord have mercy. Shit. <laughs> Did it. See, wrong see what I've learned on my uh, liquor journey. That smell that we smell. That's the that smelly agave. smell. Yeah, that smell smelly. <laughs> that's the agave smell. And, and if he, you, he, it don't smell like Patron, y'all. I'm gonna tell you that. It smell like it's gonna be. It smell like moonshine. I'm not even fr like. This is moonshine. The, the smell is not pleasant. It's like it's a it's, it's a like strong. It's like you smell it and you can taste smell. it. Like smell it. And I swear to God, I can taste it when I smell it. And that's usually how it works. I, I don't know if this is a myth or not. Hold your nose and then try to taste something. I don't know if it, you're going to be able to taste it. You know okay. what I'm saying? Oh, you're going to try that. <laughs> I don't know if that's the ice. <laughs> it's real watery, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, we, we hopefully uh, this tequila. No, that was bad. ice. It still tastes watery when I uncover my nose. So I'm going to try my best like to uh, see how it goes down. Because sometimes that's how you can judge tequila, depending on how it go down. You yeah, know what go I'm ahead. saying? Go ahead. We got to do this together. <laughs> what oh. you want to tap this into? 
to 2021. Okay, hopefully it's a better year. Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, the taste, like actual flavor, it definitely tastes like tequila, but as far as going down, my opinion, it didn't go down too bad. It's not, it's nasty. Okay. That's, hey, that keeps it real. Thank you. <laughs> it's not like super strong. No, like I don't feel it in my chest, but the taste of it is just, it's oaky. Yeah. It's, it's oaky. And I'm not a fan of oaky. Yeah. It's very like bark. I don't know. It tastes like a tree. It damn do. So I agree with it. And it lingers. The mm-hmm. taste lingers on your tongue. Like I'm still, still tasting, tasting it. Still tasting the tree. <laughs> like, you know, went up and licked Ooh, the tree. Licked the tree. Like, I, I'm not a fan. But who's to say it don't get you turned? You know what I mean? Lickin yeah. ain't. I mean, I don't know too many liquors that just be like delicious. Yeah. You know? You so, you are right about that. It's all a few things like I've had that I really like. Like, like I'll be like, oh, let's go get that. Like this uh this black tall box behind you. Mm-hmm. That's uh my strawberry. Oh. Bell. That's some good tequila. I might let you try that before you leave. Mm-hmm. But uh, that okay. it's flavor wise, it ain't there. But as far as like the way it go down, it it don't burn when it go down. Not to me. It don't burn at all. But it is. Disgusting. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like tequila. We gonna uh, we gonna try this on the rocks, and we gonna toast this to uh, P Diddy finding uh, a and better that, recipe. Yo, first of all, Diddy has all the endeavors. If we just really think about it, he really do. He do everything. He's done everything. We gonna we gonna toast this to uh, Diddy doing everything. He to Diddy doing everything. Uh, he is a mark in Black history, like for real. Truly. Yeah. Yes. Like. And his sons, all of them. Yeah. He made generational wealth. I like it. Ooh. It's a lot better on ice. A whole lot better. A whole lot better. Like it's no just... burn at all <laughs> on the ice. Like none. Still got that disgusting flavor though. Yeah. Tastes like. What does it taste like? Straight bark. <laughs> like oh, if you took a pecan. And then take it out the shell and just sucked on the pecan. Equivalent. Ooh. That right there, like like that ill dirt kind of like you know what I'm talking about. Have you ever done that? I've gone pecan picking on some country shit okay. in Laurel, Mississippi. <laughs> okay. And of course, as a kid, I'm gonna put the pecan in my mouth. That's what this tastes like. My childhood. A, a pecan in the shell. A pecan in the country. Mississippi backwoods. <laughs> off the tree. And I was going to ask you to, co- to compare this to something, but... Boom. <laughs> like, Way ahead of you. I ain't going to lie. Like, it's... It go down good. I feel like it'll make a great margarita. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I think it'll make a great margarita. It'll blend. Yeah. It, it would even be good with orange juice. Like a little sunrise. I don't think I want... <laughs> I don't think I want because of that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this Deli Young, it, it's all right. It ain't the best tequila I done had. Like, you not finna get no endorsement the way we talking about his shit. Hey, listen. <laughs> we be, hey, listen. We being honest, though. Like, I can't come over here and count. Like, we I don't do that. I'm telling y'all, it, y'all get, the, like bottle because, bottle. get the bottle because you want the bottle. And, it's, and you would be supporting a black man. But don't get it for flavor. Yeah. You're going to be disappointed. But you, I feel like you taking shots and you already in there, or just you know trying to turn up. Yeah, it's good for taking shots. Taste, like yeah, it's, it's don't no taste. strong. Just just shoot. It's just nasty. It tastes like alcohol. Like if you was to just go in there and drink some peroxide, I don't know. But yeah. like you know what I mean. Like it's got that alcohol flavor. Yeah. But it ain't strong. So uh, use your chapter reviews. We rate everything one to seven. You can do neat and on the rocks, or you can just write it, write it, or whatever. So. On a scale of one to seven, with I guess three point five being in the middle, what would you give Deli uh, Blanco P Diddy Tequila? On the rocks, it can get a five. Okay, that's pretty high. It's, well, it's it pretty like high. Pecans. It tastes terrible, but alcohol don't taste terrible anyway. <laughs> so it's like at okay. least there is no burn. A question. So. You say you like Patron, right? Yeah, I like Patron. So, like... I like the effects of Patron. I do not like the taste of Patron. Okay. I like that I don't need to take a whole bunch of shots 
to, to feel that. it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there's no hangover with tequila for me. Yeah. But versus Hennessy or something like that, I got to take 20 shots and then I'm sick in the morning. Yeah, I could throw back the Henny and I'll be all right. So don't look at the camera. This is, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, a five on the rocks. This neat shit. Three. 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 All right. Let me, uh, let me go back and revisit my rocks. Pour you a little bit of neat too. Mm -mm. In case you yeah, I see, I see you got a little bit in there. <laughs> oh, I remember the neat. <laughs> oh, I remember the neat. Uh, whoo. As a tequila and the way it goes out, because if I go by taste, I'm giving it like a two hour way around. But if I'm going by how it goes down and how I feel in my chest, it ain't bad. Like it's yeah. I don't feel like it's a forty dollar tequila, but it's definitely like a. I feel like it's on the level of Altos. Altos is like maybe like a twenty. 20. I really thought because it was Diddy, it would be more than forty. Well, this the Blanco. So if you get the Rep Reposado or the Añejo, it's gonna be more. Okay. So the Blanco usually Blanco and Silver gonna be gonna, gonna be cheaper. So uh, it was like it was like actually like thirty eight, thirty nine. So like after tax, it was like forty something. Yeah. So, uh, but going by judging it off of tequila, I would give it, I'm going to go all around a solid, who we, 3.9. I'm going to go 3.9 because it's, it's. You could have gave that bottle of four. I, I'm going to go 3.9 because four is like 3.5 halfway. This is way, it's more than halfway, but like price wise, that's why I'm giving it a 3.9. Okay. Because if I'm now, if this was like twenty dollars, oh, a ten. I mean, seven. Yeah, I, I would give no. And when getting the seven, I give it like a, a five point five if it was twenty dollars. But since it's twenty dollars more than twenty dollars, it, it got to get definitely 3 .9. should be twenty dollars. though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's not a bad tequila. It just ain't. It ain't bottom shelf, but it ain't top shelf either. Top. This, this this middle. This the middle shelf. Yeah. This is about what so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give it that. It's gonna get an overall four. We could just come to that consensus. Yeah, like we in agreement. We four. Four. Neat, cold, all of it. Which is a little bit more, more than you know. It's it's in the middle. Uh -uh. A little but bit above definitely. The middle. Yeah. So, uh, I know you already gave your comparison. If I had compared this to something, I would compare it to um, my expectations. Honestly, my expectation really wasn't high. Yeah. Mainly because it was a Blanco. I'm like, how how good can you make a Blanco tequila? Yeah. And so, it met my expectations. I felt like it was going to be somewhat average, even though the price wasn't average. And, hmm, let's see. It's, it's like minimum wage. No, it's a, it's a little bit of more more than minimum wage. It's like you like you first start working at minimum wage with $7.25. <laughs> This and right here. This your six months. This after your six months. When yeah. They go up you you a found dime. a decent job and, and they paying ten. It's oh, more than minimum. 10? No no no. It's paying more than minimum wage, which is ten dollars. I know. But it ain't like I can't live off ten dollars an hour. Minimum wage is seven twenty five. I know, but this is more than minimum wage. That's what I'm saying. I, I would give this a nine. Nine dollars an hour. Nine 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 an hour. Okay. We we gonna go we gonna we gonna go with nine fifty an hour. Nine fifty. <laughs> Nine fifty an hour, hour on the minimum wage scale. Yeah. So, uh, since we've been drinking a little bit, oh, matter of fact, before we get too far, I know you like you know tequila because it, well not tequila but Patron because it gets you there. Like any the other liquors that like Can't you go to, yeah. Like your what's your top three liquors that you that I'm gonna drink? Yeah. I'm going to drink Pat Ron at all times. Pat Ron, all right. I'm going to drink Hennessy. Okay. I love it. And it's a match, a toss up for me between Duce and Remy. That's my, they share the third spot for me. Gotcha. Yeah. Hennessy does not taste good at all. Terrible. <laughs> Awful. But it does what needs to be done. Like, yeah. If I, if I need to get lit for the night, Hennessy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if I'm getting lit with my man, Hennessy. Yeah. If I'm getting lit with my females, Pat Ryan. Yeah. For obvious reasons. What's the obvious reason? It's obvious. I don't have to say it. 
Well, I'm glad the people at home know because apparently I don't know what I'm saying. Y'all know, beside them. ladies know. Okay. <laughs> that Pat Ron turned to a demon, huh? Now, that Pat Ron for your friends, that shit make you want to fight. But that demon time, gonna right. come from that Henny. Yeah, that's what I like. I heard that mimosa get them on that demon time too. That mimosa is for daytime only though. <laughs> like that mimosa is for that daytime demon. Yeah. That henny, demon time demon. <laughs> that, that that that's twelve and later. That's nine and later for people with jobs. Hey man, thank, I'm glad you said that because I be going to bed at, at nine forty five. <laughs> got that like an old person. I got work. <laughs> <laughs> together come on so since so, so we've been drinking a little bit you can let the people know well this section of tap their reviews called two turn everybody know about the two turn section of tap their reviews so can you give the people a time when you got two turn i'm gonna talk about my first time ever getting drunk like i can't really recall a time hold it thought i gotta tell the people listen if y'all want me to quit my daytime job subscribe to tap their reviews Alright, now you can go. He need to quit his daytime job, y'all. Subscribe, please. So we can do this all day. All day. We're going to drink for a living. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is my first time ever in life getting drunk. I've never been drunk before. What year? I'm in college. Freshman year okay. of college. And we were supposed to, me and my girls, we were supposed to go to this Sigma party. But we was going to go to the little pregame before the Sigma party. Me not drinking. I don't know that you got to eat before you drink. I had went the whole day. And then I did not eat that whole day. I know I did not have class and some more shit. So I just hadn't ate. And when we get to that house, the pregame house, they, I'm a freshman now. All these people got to be at least juniors. Yeah. We the only, me and my friends the only freshmen. But we end up having a good time or whatever. It's the pregame. And then we're going to go to the club, go to the party. So they start doing these things called Flaming Dr. Peppers. <laughs> Is that, is that yet? Where you drop the like some shot of something on fire, you drop it in something, and when you chug it, it tastes just like Dr. Pepper. Yeah. But the point of the game is to finish your cup before the other person. Oh. So we sitting here playing flaming Dr. Pepper games <laughs> and a bitch do not make it. Okay, like I haven't ate and I'm taking like I'm literally Did it taste like Dr. Pepper? Tastes just like Dr. Pepper. Okay. Tastes delicious. I'm <laughs> dead. Like Ain't no party. Ain't no. And everybody was like, it, and everybody was like, we ain't even gone to the party yet. So like, all my, I'm a, all my friends. One friend stayed, but yeah. everybody else left because we was supposed to go to the party. And Jordan was the only one who got up. And it was a Saturday, and I had church the next morning with my grandma. Did and you go to church? Granny don't play about church. Let me say this. <laughs> so Granny from Mississippi. Columbus. <laughs> so I am, I am in my dorm dead. Let's address this. Like dead. Can't move. Can't do nothing. Dead. <laughs> and my grandma calling my phone. Calling my phone. Hey, I'm downstairs. You gotta go to church. Come on, you going to church? I'm telling her I'm sick. Like I cannot go. I'm sick. <laughs> She's like, if you sick, come on. I'll come take you home. I'll help you get better. I'm like, no, leave me. <laughs> Oh, she wasn't leaving. Let me address this. So I had to go to my grandma's house with a hangover when I was supposed to go to church. And my grandma took care of me that whole Sunday. Oh, shout out to granny. She was so upset. <laughs> my granddaddy too, because neither of them was able to make it to church with me. Because I it took forever for me to get out the bed to come downstairs. Yeah, ain't no but the devil. You the devil. And I was talking about, y'all, I don't know what's wrong. I got food poisoning or something. My grandma, that ain't no food poisoning. You smell like tequila. Like, she was so mad. I was so embarrassed. Didn't even get to go to the party. My granddaddy cussed me out. It was just real bad. Oh, have mercy. That was my first time. That was my first drunk story. First time ever getting drunk. What, what, what year was your first year? Freshman year was 2012. Okay. So that wasn't, well, that was a while ago. She That's eight that, years. It's nine now, she. Damn. It's 2021. Damn. <laughs> oh, we can know. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm old. I'm old. I, listen, I done had some drunk stories like that. I done, listen, my last review, I don't know if y'all watched it with uh, Sandy George. I was so f up that day, y'all. She was talking about all type of crazy stuff. Y'all go watch it. But, uh, listen. You definitely was too turnt. And, and 
Shout out to the grandparents. Please. Shout out to the grandparents. <laughs> I hope okay. they. I hope they watch this review. I swear to God, I'm gonna show this review to my grandma because my grandma gonna die laughing because she know. She know that day, <laughs> baby. I was crawling to the car. Okay, <laughs> I was crawling and it had the nerve to tell that woman I had food poisoning. <laughs> Damn, it was a long week. <laughs> okay, then they had to bring me back to my dorm later on that day. A f- mess. <laughs> That's crazy. I've never been so ashamed to come from a Christian home <laughs> and have them see this on a Sunday morning. <laughs> I, was, I probably look like a demon. Like I probably look like a straight heathen to them. Oh, they, listen, they they been y'all before. They they know they know what it is. Cause your grandma said I, I smelled a tequila. On it, so <laughs> your grandma probably was a tequila, a tequila drinker back she in the day. She smell. Yeah. She kept, oh, she was so sweet that day. She kept bringing me Gatorade and soup. Look, <laughs> she, she already know the solution. Get, get, I get some more sodium in, get some electrolytes, baby. You baby, don't need it. Your grandma done been through it. Baby, I was sick. They, they probably was uh turned off their moonshine or something. Did wild turkey probably? But yeah, they, yeah. What the old people like? Man, they drink everything. <laughs> MD twenty twenty wild turkey, oh. all type. They ain't got that dilly on. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Jordan, tell these folks to subscribe and tap the reviews. That's what you need to do. Yeah. Uh oh. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely subscribe because uh, the more people that subscribe, the closer I get we to We're trying uh, to get endorsements, okay? We're trying to make it out the hood. We don't want to work nine to five, so not for us. So help me quit my job so I can be his assistant. And it's up. Who don't like my? All you gotta do is tell him what you want him to review. How about that? And, and he'll review, review it. Anything you wanted to know about, let him know so that way we can get it and tell you about it. Cause we gonna let you know. And it's you nasty. won't waste your money at the liquor store. I went and bought this uh this forty five dollar twenty dollar tequila. We'll let you know. Yeah. That don't get this. I ain't gonna say don't get this. It, Unless they having a half off sale. <sighs> It's a good tequila, in the word in the in the tequila word. It ain't bad. It's just it ain't. I don't know. This it, it's okay. You think Diddy gonna see this, huh? I mean, if he do, he do. If he don't, he don't. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, for, for real. I already gave it a, a three point nine. So she, if he see it, he be like, oh shit. But listen, if y'all want a decent tequila to uh, after you've already drank the good tequila. And you just like, oh, what do we need now? This is a good second round. Start <laughs> off with the Patron. Finish that bottom. And then bring this out. And I ain't no fan of Patron, y'all. I love Patron. Honestly, the only reason I'm not a fan of Patron because I feel like it's a little overhyped. It is a, a quality tequila. It's delicious, though. But and I've had, it does the job. It damn do the job. You ain't never drank Patron and been like, well, let me just go to sleep and get ready for work. Never. <laughs> never. This, this is true. <laughs> So, uh, tell the folks where they can follow you at on uh, social media. Oh, and this is a Clubhouse connection, by the way, y'all. Yeah, on any of my social medias, all you have to do is search J-O-R-D-Y-N-A-T-I-Y-A. Jordan Atia. And I'm going to put it on the screen, so y'all ain't got no excuse. So you just the- click it, and that's on Twitter, that's on Instagram, that's on Clubhouse. But also, I like I said, if you see Brenda Meeks, that's also me. <laughs> Bottom. Where did you get that alias from? Do you y'all know um Scary Movie? I remember Scary Movie. The girl uh Regina with the braids. You yeah. on Candy Camera now. Her real name on the show on that movie is Brenda Meeks. Oh that's me. Okay. I learned something new today. <laughs> and don't nobody know that. So it'd be like everybody just think that's my real name. Well, hopefully if enough people watch chapter reviews, everybody will know it. Everybody gonna know me as Brenda. I like that. And make sure, of course, I got to plug this in again. Subscribe so I can quit my daytime job. And, and I can become his assistant. That too. And if y'all need some uh, some counseling, definitely check out Brenda Meeks, a.k.a. Jordan. I am your girl. <laughs> I am certified, licensed, the whole nine. Please come talk to me. I'm here to listen. It's chaotic out here in these streets. And sometimes you just need somebody to talk to. And, uh... Of course, you can follow Tapped In Reviews and Tapped In Reviews everywhere. 
even Clubhouse and Clubhouse the move now, y'all. Personal DM account. Clubhouse, I'll send you an invite. Just let me know. DM me. Yeah, DM her because I'm charging for my invites. I'm not. I'm having a heart. In I'm, fact, <laughs> if you book with me, every session that you book with me come with a free invite. <laughs> yeah, they've been invites. I got a lot of invites. Okay. <laughs> But of course, follow tap their reviews everywhere, and uh, my personal account is I love tap water because uh, I love tap water. I love tap water. Then yeah. where you think tap their reviews come from? Do you like tap water for real? In Brandon, uh, I you wanna know who got good tap water? Who? Memphis. Memphis got good. Yeah. Okay. That's I was thoroughly surprised, but Memphis has great tap water. Hey, shout out to Memphis. I got shout a lot of uh, clubhouse followers from Memphis. Like, yeah. Shout out. Let's list all the. Shout out to New York. All my clubhouse. Followers. Shout out to Chicago. I got a clubhouse. Respectfully. Respectfully. <laughs> Don't shoot them up. If you're from 63rd, come on. Um, London. Oh, yeah, definitely. There's plenty of folks from. Uh, plenty. Lord have mercy. I think they're my top three Chicago, New York, and London. Mine is Memphis, New York, I'm and. people from Memphis. I listen. I be in the roast rooms. Yeah. It's lit. Oh, it, God. It, it, Ping me. Listen, if you come in today on your ass, as soon as you pop up. You know they going to start that fro. They oh, got yeah. that, that fro going to be the first the first thing they Listen, talk about. I done got roasted so many times, but it's enjoyable because I know it's a roast room. Like, I joined for a reason. But, uh, that's been tapped in reviews, y'all. You see Brenda pouring up some, uh, P. Dinner Deleon again. And, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, give me a little bit, man. I don't want to. Hey, God damn it, girl. <laughs> shit. I just gave the shit 3.9. You want to. We out, y'all. <laughs>